What's going on guys? It's Sue Tech and it's October 23rd, 2017 and there's a lot of stuff going on today. A lot of stuff. A lot of gears are moving in the cryptocurrency world. We have the Bitcoin fork with Bitcoin gold that's going on and overall just a lot of things going on today. So I want to start by touching on this article on SuteXCrypto.com. Will this battle for the soul of Bitcoin destroy it? And that's a very good question because judging based on this article, that's a lot of petty stuff that is causing rifts in the Bitcoin development community. It already has gone under, you know, a a fork already and they split the chain to create Bitcoin Cash, as you know, and Bitcoin. But now the blockchain wants to split into another one called Bitcoin Gold. So there will be three Bitcoin oriented blockchains in this Bitcoin space. So that's that's a lot. I mean, and, and the rifts are really coming over the bandwidth of the blockchain. So the blockchain has a one megabyte uh, limit according to this article and Bitcoin Cash has an 8 gigabyte, uh, 8 megabyte, I'm sorry, 8 megabyte limit for its bandwidth and apparently Bitcoin Gold wants a different number for its bandwidth and they have a lot of little skirmishes going on just based on according to this article, according uh, to this article it says race, you know, creed, ethnicity, a lot of, a lot of things that tend to drive wedges in between a group of people or a team. So here it says, what are they fighting about? At the most basic level, at its most most basic level, the question that divides the community is a seeming seemingly trivial one. How to upgrade the network to accommodate more transactions at any given time it has produced a contentious divide because the various ways to go about it all result in trade-offs. And we talk about racism, hypocrisy, censorship, all things that divide people and divide teams on each other. And so that's what seems to be going on with Bitcoin Gold. So today everything is pretty much on hold at least as far as I'm concerned uh, GDAX is up and running so I'll be able to trade uh, Bitcoin and USD which I have already but my gunbot is not running because the Bitcoin wallet on Bittrex is shut down for 24 hours so I won't be able to do anything with that but uh yeah, so we're just going to have to play this by ear and see what happens. Because uh, I suspect it will, it will go by and nothing will happen. Just like with Bitcoin Cash, where everybody was flooding around Bitcoin Cash. And what happened? Pretty much nothing. So that's how I'm kind of looking at it. And I'm looking, how, I'm looking at this same kind of fork situation in a similar fashion nothing will probably happen so nonetheless you still have to keep your ears to the streets and pay attention to everything that's going on so you can adjust your strategies accordingly so but uh in some good news I did get my Paragon coin today Paragon ICO sent out their coins today and there they are. They're sitting in my Ether wallet along with my gold reward coin. So in case uh, some of you guys thought that these were not real coins, well, here they are. Now you have to add them and you have to provide custom value. So for example, you added a custom token and in here PRG and here 6 and the address you can get from the telegram group but in any event it's no problem to you see the coin here 
I know a lot of people in the Telegram group are kind of freaking out because it's not listed here automatically, but all you have to do is add it. And so there's the result. There's the coin. So I'm just waiting for these to hit the exchanges and I'm just going to put them there and I'm just going to hold them and we'll see where they go. We'll see how they trade and hopefully they make a lot of money in the future because I believe in definitely Paragon. Paragon seems like a very forward thinking coin. So I look forward to seeing how that does and I'll just keep watching everything. Now this is something that was brought to my attention yesterday. Escroco, Financial Escrow and Insurance Services. And this company is also in an ICO phase, but I uh, I signed up and I looked into the back office just to kind of take a look, see how everything looked, if I liked the quality, and uh, I just, I wasn't feeling it. I do not see this as a viable investment option. I just, I'm not really sure how this works is it just seems to be completely running on hype right now I mean most of these ICOs are but you know with Electronium there's a logical hype behind it you can see the steps that took place and you can see where it's going but a lot of these are just totally blind trust and you're not provided much information about how they plan to operate, really plan to operate. I, I, I'm not just talking roadmap. I mean a complete layout of all the steps they plan to take and how they're going to execute them. You just don't get that kind of information from these websites. So uh, Escroco this is another thumbs down for me. I'm going to avoid this one. Uh, you see down here, copy, right? Now, copyright is one word. Little things like that bother me. I'm kind of a, a spelling freak, but spelling and grammar freak. But I just I went into the back office and I did not like what I saw. So I'm just gonna bypass this one. And I mean, I recommend you, of course, take a look at it. But I'm not gonna put my referral link up. And you know, make your decision. Escroco.co is the website. Anyway, so let's take a look at Bitpetit. Bitpetit is doing excellent. I'm ready to make a withdrawal and then another investment just with the interest or with the dividends paid. So that's going to be good. $27. So about when I get to, you know, $35, $40, I think that's when you can extract. And I'm just going to put it right back in. And my offer still stands. If you guys want to learn how to make a lot a lot more money using Bitpetit and other platforms you know the offer still stands all you have to do is invest and once I see the investment go through I'll contact you via my email and we can get things cracking from there I also wanted to share one thing one other thing so on my website I have I have a forum and I created a private investors club that's an invite only and the only way you will get an invite is if you have an investment under me whether it's in BitConnect, Bitpetit or if you buy an ICO in my downline as well if you're in Gold Reward if you're in uh what else if you're in Electronium under me you can I'll add you to the private investors club and we can brainstorm and build from there. I had a Facebook page, but I actually just want this all on my website. So it's just on the website and not on face at the mercy of Facebook if they decide to do something. So, you know, so that's there. And if you invest, just contact me or I'll contact you actually. And I'll send you the invite and you can, get in and we can start brainstorming on how to make this money so 
anyway, that's my wrap for today, guys. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.